Hey, what's going on YouTube? Launch Gamer here with another pickups video. This is my pickups for the past week and a half, two weeks since my last pickups video. I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff, but I got some quality stuff that I like. And I just want to go ahead and show you guys what I have. I have some more stuff coming in the mail, but I'm going to just wait until my next video to show you guys. Whenever all that stuff comes in, uh, I decided to go ahead and show, show you guys what I have now. So, let me go ahead and get started. The first thing I got was... Uh, Black Label Final Fantasy 8 for PlayStation 1. I bought this from uh, School Gaming. Um, cool guy here on YouTube. Some of you guys might already know who he is. But um, definitely go check check his channel out. I'll leave a link in the description below. But I bought Final Fantasy 8 from him. It's missing the manual. But um, that's fine with me. I can always get another one. And there's a few cracks in the case, which I don't, also don't mind either. So... I can get that replaced, but um, I paid 10 bucks for this, which I think personally was a good deal. So, happy to have it back in my collection, Final Fantasy VIII. Um, next thing I got was a GameCube system. Bought this at a flea market for $20. Um, everything works on it. The, um, the disc reads good, comes with power, comes with the AV cords. Came with a controller. But the WaveBird doesn't work. The wireless doesn't work with it, which sucks. Um, it was working when in, when I was at the flea market there. It powered on. But when I came home, it didn't power on anymore. There was some corrosion in the battery uh, on the controller. I cleaned it out, but it still won't power on. So I don't want to throw this away, the controller, anyway. So if you guys have any idea how to fix it or, you know, have any tips, please let me know. And uh, I really appreciate it because, I mean, one of these are pretty expensive on eBay. So and I just didn't want to just toss it out. So, but anyways, um, it was a little dirty. I cleaned it up and it's working fine now. Um, since, it, since I didn't have any controllers, working controllers, since this one didn't work, I went ahead and ordered some uh, controllers online. I got two official GameCube controllers off of eBay I think I paid uh, 17 for both and I know one of these go for like 17 a piece on online I didn't think GameCube controllers are that expensive um, even GameStop are selling the third party controllers for like $17 which is re like ridiculous so anyways I got these controllers to go ahead and play them um, the guy that sold me the controllers also threw in this. It came with a third party memory card for the GameCube. And also, the guy at the flea market threw this in. It was the official GameCube um, memory card. And he also threw in a set of these Donkey Kong bongo drums. He didn't have the game for this. That's why he just threw it in for free. He had no use to you know keep it if you sold the GameCube so he just threw these in for me for free I've tested it he didn't have the Donkey Kong game but I went ahead and bought it to test it and these work fine I just need to clean them up a little bit so 20 bucks for a GameCube system uh, first I don't think is a bad deal if, I, if you think about it with the two controllers that I bought it makes it to be $37 plus the memory cards plus the drums so I think that's a good deal and sticking with the whole GameCube, I went and bought some games. Um, since, just to let you know, oh, let me go ahead and start off. I bought a uh, Auto Modelista, got for two ninety nine at GameStop. Um, for you that, for you guys that don't already know, they're phasing out the GameCube system on April second, which is soon. So um, I'm trying to go ahead and get all the. Game, GameCube games that I can and to you guys that's trying to collect for GameCube go get them while you can before you know they they all get sold out and they're not taking any more GameCube games or selling them after they run out of stock so I'm trying to get as much as I can before they run out so with that being said here's what I got so far I'll probably get some more later this week and uh, Automotilista it's a Capcom title it's complete Manual's in good condition too. This one's in good shape. Um, I've been looking for this game for the PS2. I can never find it, but I found it for GameCube, which I'm happy about. So, 
Here you go. Uh, Donkey Kong, Donkey Konga, uh, for three ninety nine. Sorry about that glare, guys. Also complete. Manual and discs is in good shape. Got that just to test those uh, drums out. Works great. Got a. Can't even read that. Put the labels in a way, but I think it's F Zero uh, GX. Got that for four ninety nine. Trying to get all the exclusive titles for GameCube, which um you know, as much as I can, complete with the manual and the disc. Since. Like I said, GameCube is about to uh, be gone from the GameStop store, so I'm going to try to get them all. This one's, I'm, this one's I'm happy to get, Wave Race Blue Storm. Big fan of the Wave Race game. Um, I played the first, I believe it was on N N64. Wave Race is fun. I played this one before on my friend's GameCube, and I always wanted it. So I'm very, very happy to have it. Uh, I got this for $3.99. It's complete. Got Mario Golf Toast Do Tour. Also complete. Trying to get all these uh, Mario games. I know there's a lot of them out there for the GameCube, but I'm really going to try to get all of them if I can. They're pretty pricey at GameStop, so I won't get the expensive ones like Mario Party and stuff like that. I'll try to get them online for cheap if I can. And lastly, I got Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Happy to have this. Another exclusive title. It's complete with the manual and the disc. Comes with like a couple things actually, but <clears throat> happy to have that. Uh, my GameStop had, I believe, four copies of this game. I don't know if they still have it now because it was like last week when I bought it. But uh, I was about to go ahead and buy all of them, but I decided not to. Only got one of them. All right, moving on. Uh, got this off eBay. It's a Dead or Alive Ultimate for the original Xbox. I paid um, eight dollars for this, I believe. That's including shipping, and uh, it's very complete and in good shape. Comes with uh, both of the discs inside. Let me go ahead and show you. Here's the first disc right here. Even it even came with the cards. If you see that, it comes Kasumi and Ayani. I think that's how you pronounce it. But here's disc one complete. And let me get disc two out. And here's the second one, Dare Alive Two. Also complete. These, these games feel like brand new. I mean, there's a little corner damage on the outer cardboard. But other than that, it feels brand new. Happy to have that in my collection now. Um, next, this one I'm very happy to get. Got this off eBay for $10 plus a uh, few dollars shipping. That is the Grand Theft Auto Collector's Edition for PlayStation 1. This will go great with my Grand Theft Auto collection. I'm buying Grand Theft Auto games like crazy. I'm trying to uh, get all of them. I love the Grand Theft Auto series. So I didn't even know this. Um, I just came across this. I didn't know they had the collector's edition. I was trying to get all the PS1 um, Grand Theft Autos. So um, I'll go ahead and show you what it com comes with. Of course, the outer sleeve here. All right, came with Grand Theft Auto 1. Um, all these are complete. Did each game came with the map? All the discs are in great shape. So I have the original one of this, the black label copy of Grand Theft Auto. So if you guys want it or are interested in trading for it, please let me know. So for trade and uh, Grand Theft Auto 2, complete with the map right there. You can see and Grand Theft Auto. Uh, Mission Pack 1, London 1969. I haven't played this one yet. This one I haven't played. I played the first two. I haven't played this one, so looking forward to trying this out. Also comes with the map. Game in great shape. So, another collector's edition to add to my 
list of collector's editions I have now. Very happy to have that. All right, let me move this. My last pickup I got is a big one. If I can grab it. And that's the collector's edition copy of Skyrim. As you can see, this box is huge. Um, I got this off Newegg.com. There was a sale. I was on Twitter and um, there was post posting like an ad or something like that about Skyrim being on sale for $60. And um, I misread it at first. I thought it was for the regular game. But when I went to the link, it was for this, the collector's edition, which is normally like $100 or more. And I paid only $60 for it. It was brand new. Wasn't used. Came with the game and everything. So I'm very happy to, have, to buy that. I thought it was a very great deal for Skyrim, the collector's edition. And um, I'm thinking about doing an unboxing for it, but I'm not sure yet. So that's about it, guys. That's my, uh, my pickups for this week. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I'll see you in my next video.